Hey, my name's Denise. I'm the social media director here at Ikelite. Recently, I had the incredible opportunity to dive in the beautiful Exuma Islands with my teammates here at Ikelite. It was my first real experience shooting underwater in the ocean and I learned a lot. I look at underwater photos all the time when scrolling Instagram and Facebook and I'm always attracted to the over-unders, wide angle and the macro shots. And I really wanted to capture some of those images of my own. The downside of having all these shots in mind is that I was lacking a real focus. I got in the water surrounded by all this amazing wildlife and I wanted to shoot everything. After reviewing my shots from the first day, I was disappointed with what I was getting. These weren't the shots that I had in my head. Fortunately, I was surrounded by pros. I got a chance to sit down with John and he gave me a really good piece of advice. He said, keep it simple. Take a step back from the bigger picture, focus on a macro subject that isn't moving, like a flamingo tongue. So the next day I moved in close and was able to capture some macro shots I was super proud of. This image here is one I'm really happy with and it was a big turning point for me. I really felt like a photographer when I started incorporating cheat sheets and tips from Ikelite's online photo school. Like what settings to use, strong angles to shoot at, and how to work with available light and my strobes. The rest of the trip, I had so much more confidence in my ability to experiment and capture the images that I had in my head. I found myself shooting coral heads, sharks, fish, and even a silhouette of my dive buddies that I'm super happy with. Not only is the composition cool, but looking at it now, it evokes good memories from the dive trip. If I could give one piece of advice to underwater photographers starting out, like I said earlier, keep it simple. Work on knowing how to adapt your settings on an object that's not moving. Once you get that confidence, start moving on to more dynamic subjects and more difficult shots. Have an idea of what you wanna shoot in mind, do your research, lean into the learning curve, and most importantly, have fun.